and racing. Part of Rose up nice, so too is Homebush Bruno. Now we're off the track trying to get around. We've got Zulu Bro. Uh, they're followed further back there by uh, out wide on the track. They were followed by Spider Guild. It'll get there too. Uh, Botany went around the corner. In front is Kyla Rose, but driving it on the inside. Zulu Bro doing the better. Zulu Bro beat Kyla Rose up for third. Spider Girl. They're followed by perhaps Norman Jewell ahead of uh, Botany win. Then home was Bruno. They're followed back. We go We Kieran never got into it. And um, Norman Jewell would have been back there as well. That was the first on the card. And the big run here, the eight. Zulu Bro. So we start off with the double prize winner. Zulu Bro uh, getting over the top of Kyla Rose here. Uh, the eight will score off the boxes. Racing and the field away, one of the best wide out spug gun. He goes to the front, followed out there by Terra Annie. Now getting through on the inside about town, Rich Terra wide. They're followed back. We go there to costing money around the corner. Spug gun though, back to his brilliant best. He's up by about three, he'll get the prize. About town to second. Rusty Knife got up for third. Then it's close between Rich Terra and the costing money. Uh, opulent was followed home with Kelso, and that was back with Terra Annie. Spug gun has got the prize here, 5, 10 and 150 at the close, Spug Gun's been too good and uh, as I said he's been a hard and cup winner on the past this fella, so when he's at his best, very hard to beat. And racing down on the inside, Arbrus Shen left the boxes nicely. Now trying to race that two round the outside on the level. Arbrus Shen's got too much speed. There followed Connolly getting around Ewell Hawk. Gap the others, headed by I Adam around the corner though. Arbrus Shen on the level hasn't given up, but Arbrus Shen a bit too strong by two. Will beat on the level, Ewell Hawk to third. Then Connolly, there followed uh, by uh, the next one there on crossing would have been, did I call I Adam? I Adam was followed uh, further back there by uh, Opawa Opal J. Jasper Harker back and no skill was back there as well. Here we have it, Arbor Shen has been a bit too strong here, off the boxes nicely, on the level tried to go with it, but Arbor Shen just too big and powerful. He held the rail and on the level there was just no chance of him crossing him. And racing, Opawa Rosie's out beautifully, followed out there by Opawa Stretch and uh, trying to come round the outside, boosting up there. Now there was trouble just running out a bit, Izzy Balin caused havoc. Uh, Botany Kevin well back there, followed by Willis uh, Meta Check and well back at this stage is Corbin Witch. Opawa Rosie's the leader, three lengths away, Opawa Stretch tries hard, three back, jibber, jabber, Jill. There's a gap that the others hit it by boosting into the straight though. Nicely clear, Opawa Rosie, she's too good. Opawa Rosie getting away to score and uh, wins by four will be the power stretch third at the line jibber jabber jill they followed there's a gap to the others headed by botany kevin uh corborn witch uh they're followed by willis and uh, then izzy ballin knocking up rather quickly they're boosting towards the tail there's the fourth on the program and the favorite's been a bit too strong here opara rosie she bounded in front we know she can go a bit of time, and uh, even though Power Stretch had the gun run behind her, um, it was never going to pick her up, really. Uh, 
and racing down on the inside. Little Regis walked off and best out would have been uh, straight to the lead turn away by about three lengths at the moment. Inspect the spot. Now Little Regis has got through. Uh, they're followed back. We go Hitfield off the track trying to get around Zebedai, but up they come. Inspect the spot right back to his brilliant best. Inspect the spot home. Little Regis, Hitfield. Uh, they're followed back. We go out wide Zebediah and uh, they have followed down on the inside back behind those runners. We had, where's the goal, was it? Uh, Time Slayer and also back there towards the tail. Home was Chopper, never got into the race. And that was back there on crossing uh, with uh, Question Bale. So there's the running of race five. And uh, he's just jumped and run tonight, hasn't he? Good to see him back, though. Good to see him back. We, uh, we tipped him as bet of the day last week, and he just stood there and missed the jump. And I just started to get a bit worried because he failed the start before as well. But look, he hopped off the boxes. This is the inspector spot of old. And uh, he's just um, he's just dealt to them here. Uh, little Rig is second, fourth, third, Hetfield. And then we go back to... Oh, that's where's the gold out wide and Zebedai's up against the rail. But uh, the winner, no doubt about it, Inspector Spot. racing. Sophie's Terra slow. One of the best out. Down on the inside. Rambunctious and round the outside. Uh, zipping to the front. Idle girl. She'll dash away. Uh, they're followed out wide. Zorba the Greek collecting money. And then Cam side Gold into the straight though. Little idle girl. She's well clear. Idle girl in no danger. Beats Rambunctious. Third Zorba the Greek. Then we've got out wide Cam side Gold. Followed collecting money. Sophie's Terra. And then after Sophie's Terra. Big money. And sprinkles towards the tail of the field as well. My little girl, though, fresh up tonight, and she's just jumped and run, hadn't she? 14, 10, and 3, 20. And that soon as she got to the lead, they, they just didn't see which way she went. Uh, she's got speed to boom when she's on. And, uh, yeah, she jumped off the boxes superbly, collected money, just couldn't quite get across. And that uh, zipping up there is rambunctious. Door with the Greek up there as well. racing. Hugo Flash walked off the boxes. Uh, one of the best out is going to be Protonic Pedro and showing up there wide pursuit to rev. Now Hugo Flash is trying to get through on the inside. It's recovered rather quickly and it's going to dart through between the two leaders. Down the back, Protonic Pedro. Now sitting on its tail at the moment is Hugo Flash and round the outside, pursuit to rev. They're followed three lengths back by no certainty. Uh, back we go, memory laps around the corner. Protonic Pedro still kicking. Hugo Flash, no answer. Up they come, Protonic Pedro. Pedro getting away to beat Pursuit of Rev and Hugo Flash. They're followed by memory laps, and then there's a gap of three to a par with Kendall. Further back there to no certainty. Uh, Jewel Apache back there with Run Zola and these ones towards the tail. It's race seven, and Protonic Pedro, which jumped in front. It's led all the way here, Protonic Pedro. And uh, Hugo Flash looked, um, looked to be stalking it all the way, but once they turned for home, there was no answer. And you'll find that Pursuit of Reeve has even got home for second. All set and racing. No ambition, slow. The best out, Corbin War straight to the lead. Round the turn into the straight, they run it, put three or four on the Murley. They're followed by Lagoon My Tyne going up Olivia Lass. On the inside, back behind them, no ambition, no classes looking to wind into it. Giving the leader about eight lengths at this stage. They're followed back, we go now to uh, pretty well back at this stage, has caught the bell. Uh, that's tailed off the one ahead of it, blushing bell out of the back now. Corbin War going up to be a big threat. Lagoon My Tyne, they turn. Corbin War swallowed up here by Lagoon Mai Tai which has hit the lead and dashes away Lagoon Mai Tai will score then we've got Corbin Wharf, third no ambition coming late, blushing bell they're followed by no class, certainly needed it, Olivia Lass was next well back stitch up and caught the bell at the back of the field there's the distance race taken up by Lagoon Mai Tai 
for Blue Lagoon Mai Tai, the winner, will beat no uh, will beat um, Corbin War. And there was a couple of fast finishes. No Ambition was one of those, getting home for third and right down the outside, the eight blushing bell. Racing and the field away, jumping nicely home was Page. Also showing up there, no leap. Clover's got round and also off the track. No pride is up there. They're followed after a gap there to the others, headed by Van Gerwen. Very wide, Rodriguez around the corner and uh, charging up. No pride is at the lead. No pride will beat home was Page. Three lengths away, Gold Star Chumley. They're followed by Van Gerwen. Now wide out on the track, Rodriguez heading the rest home. There was. Uh, was that Starburst Terry back there with no leaf clover? And uh, that was one of the last there with a Hoka Kobe. Oh, we've got an upset, have we? No pride, seven the black, no pride has taken the first leg of the quarter here. And uh, as they jump here, home was Page, no pride's got round quickly. No leaf clover up there along the rail, gold star Chumley, a little gap the others. Van Gerwen, wide out Rodriguez, but no pride charges up the home was Page. And over the top it comes. No pride at good money has scored. And racing. Field away, one of the best to come out wide. Corbon Phillip rushing up to a power Amy. They're followed by Jesse Surfs has got the run on the inside. Round the turn out of the straight of power. Rocky went back a length for two, getting around the outside. Expect a lay. They race down the back, railing up now. Homebush Howard. They're followed a power Stella back last Lagoon Bell. But a shooting away of power Amy for the Angler's Arms Tavern. Away by five or six. It's going to dash away and get the prize. And the Publicans Cup to O Power Amy. Brilliantly by five, expect to lay then a photo. It's either Corbon Phillip the outside or back on the inside of Corbon Phillip. Close up there was Jesse Sirs, was it? Not far away was Homebush Howard. There followed a power Rocky that was back with Lagoon Bell towards the tail of the field. But stand by for placings and the 2015 running of the Publicans Cup. But a power Amy for the Angler's Arms Tavern has dashed away to win it. And racing, wheelchair norm jump nicely, so did Tea Time. Tea Time goes to the lead, the outside, they're followed, getting around the outside, Eccles, off the track, Mickey T, uh, they're followed, well back, Grand Apache, back with that business of field, round the corner, Tea Time and down the outside, Eccles, but Tea Time got there from Eccles, and down the outside, Karamas late, then wheelchair norm, Mickey T, they're followed further back there by, towards the tail, business of field, Grand Apache, never got into it, and that was back there with Sterling Dan. But tea time, yeah, nice price here, 570, 190's got the prize here. He was nice winning the heat, and we saw that uh, just prior to the race, and uh, showed the speed again along there with wheelchair norm. They mixed it up early, but tea time just had too much speed, got to the lead here. Uh, Eccles is out there and running on strongly. Well back there, Karamas, but starting to wind up. Grand Apache just never got into the race. That was back there with Sterling Dam. But up they come, tea time, too strong. Will beat Eccles. That was a good run. Then the six, Karamas, and the one, Wheelchair Norm. The winner, number five, Tea Time.
and racing Lagoon May only fairly away best out smash that no jealousy wide and pushing up Homebush Rocky they're followed three lengths away by run for Sophie uh, Butterbean getting up on the inside of that further back Lagoon May around the corner smash that coming hard Homebush Rocky but smash that smash that bit Homebush Rocky down the outside no jealousy then we've got uh, Butterbean now after Butterbean they were followed further back by run for Sophie and behind those are Parma Deezy, Sumion was back, and so too is Lagoon May towards the tail. There's the last match that with that box speed has got the prize here, seven the black. And uh, punters get the win in the last with smash that.